So the big question is, how are we going to do this? How are we going to build this new system together? And how do we create it in such a way that it can't get corrupted? It can't get taken over. It can't get removed, stopped, blocked. We need to defend our sovereignty from fricking nutballs who identify anything that looks like it might grow into something good and they infiltrate from within and they attack from without. And all of a sudden you have all these people who are, we were almost, we just, we, we didn't do it again. And if you look through history, it's a litany of freedom fighters or people who just wanted to have a decent life, uh, get branded communists or get branded revolutionaries or something. And they, would, they became the bad guys. And then the people at the top, the people maneuvering everything, would just convince the mid-managers and then the army and everyone else that those are the enemies. And so those are the ones we have to go kill. And then that would happen. And meanwhile, they would rape and pillage that country uh, for all its gold and oil and whatever else they wanted. So we're dealing with a war mentality. We're dealing with thousands of years of generational insanity. And so what we need is a way to deal with insanity because that old paradigm, that fear-based paradigm, all they know at some point is force. All they know is deception. All they know is greed. And so behind the doors, behind the disinformation campaigns, behind the screens, behind the puppets, behind all of the shielding that stops the masses from understanding and seeing these freaking nutballs who control the world's economy and are always playing these games in cycles of pattern where they pull the wealth out and they burst the bubble and they play unfair games in the background such that the normal ordinary people who are doing the work who are putting the time in lose fortunes lose their whole livelihood lose 20 30 years of work because of these games that are done with intent and done to again suck the lifeblood out of the people and the nation and so we're in the background of COVID, in the background of this end game of medical tyranny and bringing in vaccine passes and bringing in the next layer of control mechanisms to stop human beings from actually having a decent life. There's this underlying continual economic scam and then the media to cover it up because the, the, the owners own them all. They own all the pieces. And the people, they just get this brainwashing, very sophisticated brainwashing techniques. And so if we're gonna build something new, we're gonna have to take this into account because there are so many good idealists over the years that they wanna build something great or new and they get taken out. And they get taken out because they're not strong, because they don't know strategy and they don't have an end game where they have victory in mind. And so the multidimensional universe needs a multidimensional mind. And we need to access a lot more of our collective mind than we're currently using. We need to use the infotech. We need to use our ways of communicating. And we need to find the leaders, find the people who have the solutions and to empower them with collective systems that connect together and share knowledge and bring all of the ideas into the world as one whole paradigm. And in such a strong manner that the old paradigm, like the old caterpillar pupae, is just kind of fading away. And what comes in is this butterfly that is potent in its ability to bring a good lifestyle to the people that embrace it. And so if we want to fly, we got to change how we think. We got to change how we build software. We got to change how we collectively work and think together and build that new paradigm 
using some tools, which I'm going to start to introduce you to, into something called the New Paradigm Toolkit and the Inflow Matrix Operating System. These are the two sort of life works that are part of what I, I'm, my gift, my offering to the world. And it's a set of business tools that are set up to just build that new paradigm like we've been speaking about. So I just don't want to talk about all the insanity. I want to talk about the remedy. And uh, if you've listened this far, then I hope you're going to listen to some more videos because now we're going to start to show you just exactly what the new paradigm toolkit is and how it can help you to design your ideal job and build that within an entity called a shared knowledge community, which is the cell in the new paradigm, as opposed to the corporation, which is the cell of the old paradigm. So thanks for listening. We got a whole new world to build and we're going to do it together.